So I don't spend a lot of time thinking about cycling shoes, but when I do, I want a shoe that I find at least moderately aesthetically pleasing. And the type of shoe that I really prefer is a street style shoe. I should probably buy a separate pair of shoes for gravel riding that is specifically for like riding on gravel and in the mountains, but that is another problem for another day. I also prefer clipless shoes. I like SPD, Shimano, clipless pedals. I'm, I think that's the right term. You guys know what I'm talking about and I'll put it, I'll put like the image on the screen here. This is the style of clipless shoe that I prefer. I know there's tons of different options out there, um, but this is what I like. I just want to look down at my feet when I'm pedaling and think, damn, that's a good looking shoe. Hell yeah. And the shoes I've been wearing for the most part on all of my rides for the past like year and a half, except for deep winter rides, because I have like another shoe for that, are DZR Jetlag Neros. Now I like this shoe, but I don't love this shoe. While they haven't worn out really quickly, they faded really quickly, they've kind of stretched out and they're not really comfortable to wear especially walking around. Now this isn't a requirement for a cycling shoe for me. I don't need to be comfortable in them when I'm just like walking, you know, I'm not going to walk miles in a cycling shoe, but even just going to the coffee shop and walking around, I found that they were just like really uncomfortable after a while. So as they've been on their way out and just like getting too, a little bit too old and a little bit too worn out, I have been on the hunt for a different cycling shoe that is kind of a casual street style. And I came across the Chrome Industries, okay, what is it called? It's called the Chrome Industries Southside 3.0 Low Pro which is more alliterative than I anticipated when I read that out loud. <laughs> These are shoes made by Chrome Industries. I have a lot of stuff from Chrome, um, which I realized looking in my closet in preparation for this video the other day. I have some gloves by them. I have uh, one of their crossbody bags that I really love. I also have some kind of everyday shoes that I wear all the time. I'm a big Chrome Industries fanboy and I'm just gonna promote more of their products. I will say I bought these shoes at full price. They did not give them to me, um, unfortunately. I, I bought them with my own money and I bought them at full price right before they went on sale, which is unfortunate. But regardless, I really, really like this shoe. I find them to be really comfortable. I also find them to be the right aesthetic. They're like plain enough to where they go with like most things, but they're not so plain that they're like too plain. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is all just to say, I like the way they look and they're comfortable for me. And yeah, they're great. So one of the things that I have an issue with, with a lot of cycling shoes, is that they tend to be too narrow. As most of you watching know, if you have shoes that are too narrow when you're cycling, your feet expand and then it like presses on your nerves and you get numb toes and it's super uncomfortable. And so something that I'm always watching out for with my cycling shoes, especially when, I, when I'm buying a new pair, is that they're wide enough. And these I found to be just the right width for my feet. Chrome on their website suggests buying these a half size larger. I went with the size guide. I wear an 11 in women's and it was a nine and a half in men's. So I just ordered the nine and a half and they fit perfectly. I think if you wear a 9.5 in men's, you might think about sizing up to a 10, I, but I think that's totally up to you. I find that I'm able to clip into these really easily and the build quality feels really solid. Something else that I really like about the shoe compared to the DZRs that I was wearing is that I like that they lace up rather than Velcro or like cinch like a lot of cycling shoes have because it just fe makes it feel like a real shoe rather than like, I, I like feel like when I was wearing the DZRs, I often felt like I was wearing like 
a kid's shoe in a way, because you remember when you're a kid and you have like Velcro shoes before you're, before you were able to tie your own shoes. And that's kind of what it felt like. And I don't mean to knock the DZRs this much. They were a really good pair of shoes, but I really like this style a lot more. There was also no break-in period with this shoe. Do you guys ever get cycling shoes and you're just like, oh my God, it's like a hundred miles before they actually become comfortable. With these, I didn't have a break-in period at all. I found them comfortable straight out of the box, which is really nice. So I'm gonna continue wearing these shoes. If there is another style of shoe or something similar to this that you guys think I should check out, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always on the hunt for different kinds of things to try out on the bike. So I would love to hear from you guys. Also, if you have the shoe, let me know if you also like it. It's really helpful to get kind of a consensus with the people who watch these videos. All right, so yeah, this is a video about these cycling shoes I just bought and I just like really like them. I'm so delighted by them. Yeah. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week.